I have oil, salt, and then I also have the water that I put on fire so I can boil the pasta. I have um, some um, Alfredo sauce that I'm gonna use. And this is my pan. I'm gonna add the oil in the pan. A little butter because I'm getting it ready so I can um, fry my shrimps. So I'm gonna add a little butter. As you can see guys, this is my first time um, trying to make an American dish. So I'm going to try to make um, pasta shrimp with Alfredo sauce. So this is my first time. I never um, tried making American food before. Yes, this is my shrimp guys. I washed them with some lemon. So now I'm going to add them to the pan so they can fry and have a nice um, gold color to it. In the meantime, I'm gonna um, stop talking right now and um, tell you guys what I always said before I start my videos, which is, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be preparing pasta with shrimp and Alfredo sauce. So, I never tried to make that dish before, like I said. So this is my first time trying to make an American dish. And I, I think I failed because I end up having too much pasta and my sh I don't know how my shrimp is looking right now so if you guys know how to make American food and have better idea and you guys have a YouTube channel you want me to go and check it out so I can learn how to make American food I will be gratefully appreciated please guys don't forget to subscribe like share and comment um, down below and also guys um please um press on the bell so when i upload a video you guys can see it i add some garlic some sharp um chopped garlic to the shrimp for taste and then after that i'm gonna add some garlic salt for season and then I think I'm gonna add my Alfredo sauce. My Alfredo sauce. Sorry, guys. I add some parsley, dry parsley. This is my garlic salt. I'm trying to give that shrimp some taste. Um. Sorry, guys, if you guys hear any noise in the background you know I have kids and also we on quarantine and everybody's home so the house is always crazy the mommy can relate to that because quarantine life we have babies we have kids all in the house and everything it's like it's crazy right now yeah my shrimp is almost ready for me to add the sauce I don't know how to prepare a homemade alfredo sauce so I purchased um, this in Walmart then I'm gonna add it it's hard to open it guys that's why I stay away for so long I was trying to open it. Okay. I'm 
as you guys see I add the sauce that was in the drawer so next it's gonna be the pasta I know it's a fail because when I taste it, it tastes good, to be honest. But I don't think I did the right process to it. So I should have go and learn from other YouTubers that um, make American food before I try to make my own because one of my stepdaughter was telling me, oh, why don't you put some water in the drawer and rinse it and put it in the pot? But I didn't think they were right because put water in Alfredo sauce, I think it was gonna mess up the, the pasta. And then I went to watch a YouTuber and I see that they did the same thing she was telling me to do so that's why before I make that dish I should have go on YouTube and learn from other youtubers because sometimes and then I add a little bit <laughs> I finally agree with her a bit I was so scared and I add just a little bit of water because when I realize I have too much pasta and the sauce is not even enough I was like, shoot, this is going to be a mess. I'm adding the pasta like I said guys the pasta was too much and I didn't want to throw away food so I put all of it in the pot and also I um, I have another drawer of Alfredo sauce so I might I'm gonna use some of it to add to the pasta also to um, try to open the other bottle because you know it's really hard to open and before I add the sauce I get a taste of it to see if it needed it even it looked like it needed it but if it wasn't that dry I wouldn't have put um, extra sauce but I realize it, it is a little bit dry so I add the sauce on top of it I was scared that it's gonna end up too much sauce so I didn't put a lot so it look a little bit better now and then my next step is I'm gonna add some more dry parsley to it
I didn't have fresh parsley, so I used the dry one. And then after that, I'm gonna be adding some Parmesan cheese, and then it's ready. I'm adding my Parmesan cheese. It's ready guys. Thank you guys for always watching. Subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your gloves when you go out. Wear your mask. Keep your kids safe. I love you guys. See you. Bye.